In this video, we will go through the 10 generations from Noyach to Avram. So in the previous video, we went through the 10 generations from Adam to Noyach. And so we're going to look at it over here to see in the bigger picture, it covers 1656 years if we go from Adam until the Mabel, which happened when Noyach was 600 years old. And then Noyach lived another 350 years after the Mabel. Now for the next 10 generations, so Noyach had a son named Shem, who had a son named Arpachshad, who had a son named Shelach or Sholach, who had a son named Aver, who had a son named Peleg, which at the end of his days is when there was the Dur HaFloga, as we'll see later, who had a son named Reu, who had a son named Sarug, who had a son named Nachar, who had a son named Terach, who had a son named Avram, which is Avram Avinu. And as we can see with these 10 generations, when Avram was born in the year 1948, all of them were still alive, including Noyach, because Noyach passed away in the year 2006, which was when Avram was 58 years old, which is also the gematria of Noyach's name. He was Noyach years old. Avram was Noyach years old, 58 years old, when Noyach passed away. And as we look at that, we could actually see how close Avram Avinu was to other Mauritian, because Avram Avinu learned Torah from Noyach, and Noyach learned Torah from Mesushelach, and Mesushelach learned Torah from other Mauritian. Because Mr. Selach was born in the year 687, which is 243 years before the passing of Adam Rishon, and Noyach was born in the year 1056, which is 600 years before Mr. Selach passed away, and Avram Avinu was born in the year 1948, which is 58 years before Noyach passed away. So Avram learned from Noyach, Noyach learned from Mr. Selach, and Mr. Selach learned from Adam Rishon. And we could also see how Avram had contact with Shem and Aver, because both of them were also alive when Avram was born, and actually both of them lived longer than Avram did, because Shem lived until the year 2158, and Aver lived until the year 2187, and Avram lived only till the year 2123. So both of them, unlike many of the others in the previous generations, outlived Avram Avinu. And so here we have the ten generations from Noyach to Avram, and then we'll open up the life of Noyach. So the Torah tells us generally four things around the life of Noyach. Number one, it tells us about how there was evil in the world since Enish. Number two, it tells us about the Mabel, the flood. Number three, it tells us about the post mabel sin of Ham. And number four, it tells us about the birth of the 70 nations and the Der HaFloga. And in the next videos, we'll learn more about each of these.